YouTube, but today I'm going to show you how to play Stay by Taylor Swift from her new album Red, and this is a request. So please comment, please rate, please subscribe, please request, uh, like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. So uh, to play the song today you're going to need capo on 5 and you're going to need 4 chords. G, C at 9, E minor 7 and D sus 4. So if you know how to play those chords, skip ahead and if you don't, keep watching. So high E string, string 1, low E string, string 6. So the great thing about all these chords is you just keep your ring finger and your little finger on the first and second string at the third fret. They don't move of whichever chord you're playing. So um, I'm only going to tell you where to put your first finger and your middle finger because you just leave these two here. It's great. So to play G, you put your first finger on the fifth string second fret and your middle finger on the sixth string third fret. Then to play C add nine, all you do is put your middle finger on the fourth string second fret and your ring finger on the fifth string uh, third fret. So you've got G, C add 9. To play E minor 7, you put your first finger on the 5th string 2nd fret, and your middle finger on the 4th string 2nd fret. Last chord now, D sus 4. So you put your first finger on the 3rd string 2nd fret. So you have G, C add 9, E minor 7, D sus 4. So, um, so for this whole song, there are two chord patterns. And kind of like one strumming pattern depending on what your like personal preference for life is. So um, the first chord pattern is the same for the intro, the verse, the chorus and like the random little instrumental bit in the middle. So this chord pattern you've got a G, a C add 9, an E minor 7 and a D sus 4. And you hold each of those chords for... You hold each of those chords for two beats. I should have written that down, but I didn't. Anyway, um, so that means you have one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And so the strumming pattern I recommend. Um, so the strumming pattern doesn't. It's not like necessarily necessarily like the one which is played in the actual track, but it fits, so it's cool. So it sounds like this. Um, you've got three down strums on the G, and then a down up, and you, then you change to a C add 9. On the C add 9 you then have down up, down, down, down up. Sorry, I realise this, I realise this sounds absolutely nothing like the strumming pattern, but anyways. So um, if you speed that up and smush it together, on the G you have down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. And then what you do is you just repeat that pattern exactly the same on the E minor and the D sus 4. So on the E minor 7 you then have down, 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 up. Change your D sus, D sus 4 even. Down, up, down, 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 up. So the whole thing all together, nice and slow. So you have down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. That chords up, you know, just like forget I did that last one. Let's just rewind. We'll do that again. Take two. So on the G, you have down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Much better. Um, so I'll just play that a few more times for you. And if you just kind of speed that up a bit and like make it kind of a bit more bouncy, that sounds kind of like what she's playing. So you just have. I'd say because we're playing a different strumming pattern to the one that she's playing in the song, which I couldn't quite figure out. So it's cool. We're just you know mashing up life, seeing what's going on with it. Um, anyway, so um, the thing to one thing to mention though is the D sus four at the end of each verse. You don't do a strumming pattern on it. You just like strum it and kind of sit and look cool and think about life, like two beats or whatever. Um, and then you start back in with the strumming pattern. So um, 
that chord pattern is fits for the intro, the verse, the chorus, and then there's like a random little instrumental bit. So the one bit that's left is the bridge. So the chord pattern for the bridge, all of these beats are held for four beats instead of the two that they're held for in the verse. So you have an E minor 7 for four beats, a C add 9 for four beats, a G for four beats, and then a D sus 4 for four beats. So you have one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, sort of thing. So what happens? The bridge is the bit that goes, you took the what's it, what is it? You took the time to memorize me, my fears, my hopes and dreams. So for all the way through the bridge, for the E minor and the C R9, whenever you play it, you never do a strumming pattern. This is another one of those, you know, just kind of hold the chord, pose, look, look cool, think about life sort of thing. So, um, so for the E minor 7 and the C add 9, you just do one down strum and then chill for like three beats. Then when you get to the G and the D sus 4, then you start a strumming pattern. Um, it kind of depends which strumming pattern like, you just want to launch into. I mean, it's quite hard to just kind of launch straight. The strumming pattern I taught you for the verse doesn't necessarily fit. What you can do though is have like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So that's just down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So just down, down, up, up, down, up. Or kind of some variation of that which vaguely fits in. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll just quickly play that through with, with some things. Oops, wrong chord pattern, not yet. you just go straight back into the normal chord pattern um yeah so that's the entire song so please comment please like please subscribe please request follow me on twitter like me on facebook